But first, new developments in a campaign 2010 controversy. For the first time, we are hearing from Lincoln Chafee's former campaign manager. John J.R. Pagliarini abruptly resigned yesterday after allegations surfaced that he may have collected unemployment while working for Chafee's gubernatorial campaign. Iowa to Sue's reporter Sean Daly spoke with Pagliarini at length today. He joins us now live from the mobile newsroom with more on what he's learned. With less than three weeks to go before the election, the Rhode Island governor's race is getting ugly. Lincoln Chafee's former campaign manager has now resigned and he's asking for a state police investigation. Do you think there's time between now and the campaign, between now and the election, rather? John J.R. Pagliarini resigned yesterday as Lincoln Chafee's campaign manager amid allegations that he illegally double-dipped, that he got $546 in unemployment benefits after starting a new job for the Chafee campaign for governor. J.R. Pagliarini strongly denies the charge, blaming a lag time used by a payroll company that created an inaccurate impression. Now, he and his lawyer are asking the state police to find out who released J.R. Pagliarini's confidential records relating to his unemployment after being let go from his job with the State Board of Governors for Higher Education. The chairman of that board is Judge Frank Caprio, the father of Lincoln Chafee's closest opponent, Treasurer Frank Caprio. Is this dirty politics, Rhode Island style? Here we go again. 17 days before the election. I think the it's election. the type of politics that people are getting tired of, and I think it's reminiscent of uh, Nixonian politics where you have enemy lists and you have plumbers doing the dirty work. Who are the plumbers? Whoever lifted the records. Who lifted the records in your I mind? have no idea, but we're going to you investigate that. You have some that. idea, I please. have no idea, but I'm going you to investigate. You must have some idea. I have, I have legal counsel, and I'm going to investigate and get to the heart of who was responsible for that and hold them accountable. J.R. Pagliarini says he resigned so the Chafee campaign can move on without using this as a distraction. For its part, Frank Caprio's campaign denies any involvement in the leak. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News. Just about an hour ago, we received a statement from the Board of Governors for Higher Education, which reads in part, quote, because the documents provided to us were first sent to an incorrect address and were eventually provided to the Office of Higher Education in an opened envelope, we have no knowledge or information as to who may have had access to these documents prior to receipt. 